This is the first tutorial on SFML with Visual Studio. SFML means Simple and Fast Multimedia Library. It has many powerful tools that enables you to interface your programs with various components of your PC. So basically if you want to be a game programmer or software developer or an application developer then this can be the foundation on which you can stand. So uh, in this video we will see how to integrate SFML library with Visual Studio. So I am having Visual Studio 2010 so I am going to integrate SFML 2.3 here which is most stable version. Okay, so if you have other other versions like with, uh, you have Visual Studio 2012 or 2014, you can try other latest versions because SFML libraries are compiled with various versions of Visual Studios. Let's get started. So first of all, you need to download uh, SFML, whatever the version you like, you can download. So go to the website sfml-dev.org and they click on the download then click on if you are using 2000 visual studio 2010 or some other version you can go for the older version or you can download just the latest version of sfml okay so this is the sfml latest version 2.4.2 okay so i'm going for the older versions i'm going to download uh, sfml 2.3 I have already downloaded this in my downloads folder so let's check it out compress this is the sfml 2.3 extract it I have already extracted it in my D drive you will see this folder after extraction okay now open Visual Studio so I am having Visual Studio 2010 if you have other latest versions of Visual Studio follow the similar steps but with different version of SFML. Okay. So create new project. Console application. Give some name. YouTube six. Okay. Click on next. Create empty project. Click finish. Okay. After that, it may take an a minute maybe. Okay. Now in your source file, add a new file new item c++ file give a name add okay so i'm going to copy a code from the website to show you the demo copy the code paste that code here oh sorry copy the code is the code here yeah. you can see that there are some errors and it is saying that cannot open source file sfml slash graphics dot hpp so basically you have uh, downloaded the sfml library and then you have extracted that but you have not indicated with your visual studio 2010 or whatever the version you are using okay so in order to indicate it click the project properties Select all configuration in configuration bar. Click on C. After that, click additional include directories. Then here you need to include here you need to show the path to your include folder of uh, SFML. So I have this. Show the include folder. Okay, press OK. Then the linker, click general, additional de library depend directories. You need to show the path to your library of SFML. Okay. Here I have library folder. Okay. That is then. Now for the input we need different con different files for the different configurations. So let's first select debug. Okay, before that save, okay, for debug, select the input of linker, then additional dependencies, edit, here you need to write as f ml dash windows, so it is debug dash d 
dot lib sfml network these are different different modules of sfml dot lib sfml dash graphics dash d dot lib sfml system system dash d dot lib copy this whole thing because you will need this again press ok now click at release yes click on release in configuration then again click at the input of linker then select edit paste everything and remove d from here d dash from here click ok so apply ok now you can see that everything is gone whatever the errors were there now let's run it and there is some error so whenever you get this error this one link 1123 okay just follow the following steps okay just go to the project properties then this is active active debug select the debug mode click on the linker general and then just click on enable incremental linking and select no apply it select ok and then let's run it again ok so we have another error so the program can't start because sfml window dash d dash 2 dot dll is missing ok missing ok so in case any dll file is missing first of all check your directory here main directory and you can see there are a lot of dlls here select all dlls copy them ok make a copy then go to your folder project folder that you can find in your document in visual studio 2010 go to projects open whatever the project name is yt6 ok yt6 open it debug and paste right. so here you go all these things are pasted now let's give another try voila it's working ok so in this video you have seen how to set up the SFML in Visual Studio and we have also solved some problems ok so thank you for watching subscribe to this channel so that you can also get more tutorials we'll be uploading some cool projects in this channel bye take care